Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. Water-based cremation, also known as alkaline hydrolysis, is an alternative to traditional flame-based cremation that is gaining attention for its environmental benefits and gentle process. While traditional cremation involves burning the body at high temperatures to reduce it to ashes, alkaline hydrolysis uses water, heat, and alkaline chemicals to achieve the same end result. The process is often described as more natural and eco-friendly, offering an option that aligns with the growing desire for sustainable funeral practices. To understand how alkaline hydrolysis works, it's important to delve into the science behind the process, its historical development, and the broader implications it holds for the future of end-of-life care. The process of alkaline hydrolysis begins with placing the body in a specially designed stainless steel chamber known as a resumator. This chamber is filled with a solution of water and potassium hydroxide, a strong alkaline substance that plays a crucial role in breaking down the body's tissues. The chamber is then sealed, and the solution is heated to a temperature of around 160 degrees Celsius, 320 degrees Fahrenheit, while being pressurized to about 10 atmospheres. This combination of heat, pressure, and alkaline conditions accelerates the natural process of decomposition, reducing the body to its basic components over the course of several hours. Unlike traditional cremation, where flames consume the body, alkaline hydrolysis relies on chemistry to achieve the same effect, resulting in a process that is both efficient and environmentally friendly. As the body undergoes alkaline hydrolysis, the tissues are broken down into their molecular components, leaving behind a sterile liquid that is primarily composed of water, salts, and small amounts of amino acids and peptides. This liquid, often referred to as effluent, is drained from the resumator at the end of the process. The bones, which remain intact due to their mineral composition, are then removed from the chamber. These bones are soft and porous at this stage, but after they are dried and processed, they can be reduced to a fine powder that resembles the ashes produced by traditional cremation. This powder, often called cremains, can be returned to the family in an urn, just like the ashes from a flame-based cremation. One of the most significant advantages of alkaline hydrolysis is its minimal environmental impact. Traditional cremation relies on the combustion of fossil fuels, which releases a considerable amount of carbon dioxide and other pollutants into the atmosphere. In contrast, water-based cremation uses significantly less energy and produces no harmful emissions. The effluent that results from the process is considered safe for disposal through the wastewater system, as it is free of harmful pathogens and pollutants. This aspect of alkaline hydrolysis makes it an appealing option for those who are concerned about their carbon footprint and wish to minimize their environmental impact even after death. The origins of alkaline hydrolysis can be traced back to the late 19th century, when scientists first began experimenting with the process as a means of disposing of animal carcasses. However, it wasn't until the 1990s that the technology was adapted for human use. The first commercial alkaline hydrolysis unit for human remains was developed by a company called BioResponse Solutions in the early 2000s. Since then, the process has gradually gained acceptance, with several U.S. states and Canadian provinces legalizing its use as an alternative to traditional cremation and burial. As awareness of the environmental benefits of alkaline hydrolysis has grown, so too has interest in this method as a viable option for end-of-life care. Despite its advantages, alkaline hydrolysis has faced some resistance and controversy, particularly from religious groups and funeral industry professionals who are accustomed to traditional methods of body disposal. Some critics argue that the process is too similar to industrial waste treatment, which can be unsettling to those who view the human body as sacred. Additionally, 
There are concerns about the ethical implications of disposing of the effluent through the wastewater system, as some people believe that this practice shows a lack of respect for the deceased. However, proponents of alkaline hydrolysis argue that the process is no less respectful than traditional cremation, and that the environmental benefits far outweigh any perceived drawbacks. Alkaline hydrolysis is also noteworthy for its potential to change the way we think about the body after death. In many ways, the process mirrors natural decomposition, which occurs when a body is buried in the earth. However, while natural decomposition can take years to complete, alkaline hydrolysis achieves a similar outcome in just a few hours. This accelerated decomposition process is made possible by the controlled environment within the resumator, where the combination of heat, pressure, and alkaline chemicals creates optimal conditions for the breakdown of tissues. The result is a process that is both efficient and respectful of the natural cycle of life and death. In terms of practical considerations, alkaline hydrolysis is comparable to traditional cremation in terms of cost and accessibility. The process typically costs about the same as flame-based cremation, though prices can vary depending on the provider and location. Some funeral homes now offer alkaline hydrolysis as part of their standard services, while others may partner with specialized facilities to provide this option to families. As more states and countries legalize the practice, it is likely that water-based cremation will become increasingly accessible to those who wish to choose it for themselves or their loved ones. Looking ahead, the future of alkaline hydrolysis will likely be shaped by ongoing advancements in technology and a growing awareness of environmental issues. Researchers and innovators in the funeral industry are continually exploring ways to improve the efficiency and sustainability of the process with the goal of making it an even more attractive option for those seeking eco-friendly end-of-life care. Additionally, as society becomes more comfortable with the idea of alternative body disposal methods, it is possible that alkaline hydrolysis could eventually become the norm, rather than the exception, in funeral practices. Water-based cremation, or alkaline hydrolysis, represents a significant step forward in the evolution of funeral practices. By offering a method of body disposal that is both environmentally friendly and respectful of the natural decomposition process, alkaline hydrolysis provides an alternative to traditional cremation that aligns with the values of sustainability and ecological responsibility. As awareness of the process continues to grow and as more people seek out green burial options, it is likely that alkaline hydrolysis will play an increasingly important role in shaping the future of end-of-life care. Whether chosen for its environmental benefits, its gentler approach, or simply as a personal preference, water-based cremation offers a meaningful and responsible way to honor the deceased and return their remains to the earth in a way that reflects the natural cycle of life. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.